brought to you by BASF and Pride Seeds. Okay, Wayne, uh, with your corn harvest, how, what percent are you done? Zero. Zero? You haven't started yet? No, we haven't started our, our harvest yet. We were set up to start it on Tuesday, but it uh, started to rain. We, like, we had the wagons in the field. We were heading back up to get the combine, and then it started to rain. Have any of your neighbors started yet? Uh, not in our immediate neighborhood, but in the vicinity, there's a few fields done. As you head east, um, there's a lot of there's getting to be a lot of corn done in some spots. What do you What are you hearing about yield for some of those areas? Um, for for some to to the south of us, there's uh, excellent yields coming off. Uh, guys are matching or exceeding last year's yields. There's the odd spot that's like the 180, 200, 220 bushels. Um, test weight has been the same as the beans and the soybeans and the wheat were. The test weight's doing pretty good, and I think that's what's pushing the bushels up is uh, the weight of the tonnage that's coming off. Um, but then there's the odd spot that uh, guys just did not get the right rains or just things didn't work out right, and, yeah, double digits, uh, 75, 85 bushels. So in terms of yield and quality, both are outstanding. For the guys that are getting the yields, yes. Yeah, what, what do you? What do you? You're, you're outside of Godrich. What do you think your yields are going to be? I we were in the fields there a few days ago, uh, like last yeah, sometime in the past week, and I was surprised the size of the cobs. Nice big thick round cobs, and um, it's drying down pretty nice. We just need a few days of dry weather, and uh, we should be good to go. But um, I'm, I'm my expectations have increased a lot since the third week of September, and it's that heat that came. In the end of September, that really uh, pushed up my pushed up the the bushel weight and the volume. I think. So, Brent, uh, how much of your corn have you harvested so far? We got about a third of it done. Okay. Uh, what are the early yields? We're we're looking the yields are probably above last year. Around last year, we're looking in that hundred and ninety, hundred ninety five, and some test plots. So, is is that above that expe- is that above your expectations? That's far above our expectations. We're we're kind of in a 150 bushel average, um, long term average around this area. How is the quality look? Quality is very good. It's um, our challenge right now is the moisture, and it is coming down, but not quite where we'd like to see it. But yeah, quality is still is very good there. Test weight is very heavy. Where where about Steve Farm? Uh, Elgin County, which we're by between Elmer and St. Thomas. Okay, what percentage of your corn are you done? We've done about 25%. We have 300 acres off, and uh, um, we took advantage of the early prices, I guess, um, and uh, satisfied the early market. Okay, well, how has the corn yield been so far? We are pleasantly surprised that uh, we're getting where the corn is uh, looks good, is very good. Um, like last year, good. Um, there's uh, pockets that got air, rain, and um, the corn yields are good. And definitely above your expectations, by the sounds of it. Yes, we were expecting uh, dry, um, and we were not, you know, expecting strong yields. And areas that had the adequate moisture are surprising us. So, what would you say for yield uh, in the plus plus one seventy? Yes. We've had some uh, on some coarse structured sand soils on some sharp sands. Um, they have disappointed a bit where we experienced eardrop and uh, very droughted corn that and you'd dry for a while and you would not have any cobs at all. But uh, where in the areas where they were good, it was really good. Okay, uh, and, and the, how's the quality of the corn? The quality is changing as we talk. <laughs> um, there is there is mold concerns and uh, stock quality, uh, but the the ear itself, if you don't have uh, gibberella, the quality is okay. But there is areas with gibberella. Mark, what percent are you done harvest? Uh, corn or all the yeah crops? corn corn. Uh, corn, we're uh, we're about uh, by the end of today will be pretty cold to halfway. Okay, how have the yields been? Uh, excellent. 
Uh, we were in a nice little pocket this year that seemed to, uh, even though we had a wet spring there, uh, we had a good summer, and uh, so far yields are a fair bit above average. So above, obviously also above your expectations, what you thought you were going to see this year? Yes. Uh, we were kind of hoping for, you know, 175, uh, thinking we'd probably get 150 in. Uh, right now, we've had fields average over 200 bushels. So, so why why are why are the yields so high in in comparison to expectations? I I think it's uh, we had such a nice summer and lots of uh, lots of sunlight uh, seems to be always key. If you get uh, heat, important, but sunlight's uh, equally important too. So I think those two in combination. Uh, just uh, were enough to make a, a good crop. Uh, and quality's, uh, I don't know, quality's hybrid, been fine too? Yeah. Quality's good uh, in our area. Like, you know, you can go other parts of Ontario and it's not, it's not the same story. They're, they're more shape. But in, in our area here, uh, we're easily taking off, you know, number two corn. So quality's good. Okay, Pat, what percentage of your corn harvest are you done? Uh, we're actually 100% done now. Okay, how, is, how are the yields this year? Yields were a, a little bit lower than last year, but still above average. W- so, w- would you say that they were above your expectations, what you thought you were going to get? Very much, yes. Wh- yes. Wh- why uh, is that? Uh, that's a good question. I would say just because of the hot weather in the summertime, or lots of heat and uh, and moisture. So we were dry in the summer, but these corn varieties, for some reason, can handle that now and uh, still yield it well. Okay. How is the, how is the quality of the corn? Quality is uh, good. Good test weight, uh, 54 to 58 pound test weight on all varieties. Norm, what what percent are you done harvest? I'd say, is it corn and beans you're talking? Uh, just corn. Just corn. Just corn. Corn, possibly half or a little better, right? Okay. And what have the yields been like, Norm? Yields, uh, sort of all over the map. The light soil, like good and loamy soil is running close to 200 bushel but uh, once we hit the heavier clay ground i would say about a between 160 175 bushel to the acre so we so, had a tough spring eh? yeah very tough spring overall would yeah. yield expect would you, the yield results so far be above your expectations what you thought or just kind of it's so over the map it's hard to tell well, I think above expectations with the conditions and the dry July and uh, no, and good quality, our corn has dried down 21, 20, 21% moisture and good quality. Eh? Yeah. So, Norm, do you know what, why is the corn better than expectations? Like, do you know what happened that it uh, it's kind of beating everyone's expectations? Well, I think it's just the summer we had. We had lots of sunshine, lots of heat, and... Uh, this corn that we're doing, most of it was in, you know, that first 10 days of May and uh, that I've done so far. And uh, it just, uh, you know, just seemed to surprise us all the hell. 